So, uh, pretty crazy, uh, it all comes down to this, uh, thing we call life. And, uh, you know, I had these two journals that I want to put into a book about my weed smuggling days, about my, uh, getting off math days, is when I wrote this back in, uh, 2000, when I got off of meth. And uh tells the story of the RL cartel and the burnt crosses. And uh here I am uh, at the Field of Greens in Colorado. But we're gonna do a little exposure through this and uh it just so happens I was waiting for this moment for this to happen for my old fucking uh Someone I hesitate to call a friend because he stabbed me in the back so many fucking times. Uh, city councilman in Des Moines. Who somebody wants to expose him for his picture with Trump. And I'm laughing. I'm like, hey man, I got pictures of us. I got pictures of us when we were fucking moving hella weed. Hella weed. So sit back. I'm going to fucking make these videos instead of... Typing out and transcribing everything so I can put it in a book. I am just going to fucking make an audio book. I'm going to fucking smoke some fucking weed. And we're going to fucking talk about... South Side of the Morning. About some motherfuckers. About some cool motherfuckers. About some cool people. So sit back. And just... Just know, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna read through these journals. Uh it's gonna tell you about the burnt crosses. About uh you know, it's back at that time I uh had this I wasn't a devil worshiper or whatever, but I had this uh leaning towards the occult growing up Catholic and everything. But uh come come to find out, you know, the devil and heaven and God and Satan and all that is just man-made bullshit. It's all make-believe. There's life, there's death. Okay? So we're, I'm alive. I'm 52 now. Most of this takes place uh, back to time starting when I was uh, like 14 years old. Takes me into, takes me into my uh, early 20s. But, uh, you know, the rest of the deal will pick up uh, on the next part. But uh, I guess it kind of ends right before I uh, really started moving a lot of weed to Iowa from Tucson. So there was a lot of crazy times and with a lot of crazy people that we uh, threw out those times. Iowa City, a lot of love to Murph, Willie, Rankin. So, uh, and uh, thanks for everybody that uh, supporting the RL Cartel. So, uh, I'm going to get these videos going, and, uh, we're going to have us a little laughter, uh, because i got kind of been waiting for this moment, for this exposure, seriously, uh, and this, uh, this will give you a little brief of it, I'm going to show you these pictures. There we go. Ah. Because of this, uh, this guy, this city councilman, and let's just say, uh, there he is. They say he's not fit for Ward 4 City Council. They switch a picture with Donald Trump. And that's the funniest thing is, that's the only thing, I'm not a fucking racist. Trump's a racist motherfucker. I mean, you just say Joey's got, hey, let's just say I'll get into that at, at another time. But, uh, 
he was Trump doesn't believe in God either. So uh, that's the only thing that me and Trump got in common. So uh, yeah, it's time to just expose this prick. You know, I I got zero fucks left to give. I have MS. I'm not doing too good these days. And for me sitting and transcribing these journals, nah, fuck. I'm just. I don't have the energy to do it. I'll just make videos. And we'll make it into a book. Can you tell me what you think? So, just a quick one. And uh, just sit back and relax. I'm going to tell some South Side tales. Tales from the South Side. Tales from St. Anthony's. Tales from Dowling. Tales from the dark side. <coughs> Tales from the underground. That's the sound.